Here's everything that happened in medicine this week in 60 seconds or less. Part 2. Proposed Medicaid changes include 80-hour work months for individuals who are able to in order to receive their benefits. New study on vascular function when it comes to individuals who use THC in edibles and in smoking found that it had detrimental impacts of between ages of 18 and 50. New study out of Europe shows that individuals who have liver disease were only diagnosed at a percentage of about 18, meaning that there's a large percentage who are underdiagnosed. New study found that things like Ozempic may be able to increase your risk of macular degeneration in individuals with diabetes. New lipid particle was found in order to help HIV individuals by essentially telling the immune system, hey, this cell is HIV, go take care of it for the ones that typically go underneath the radar. This may be the last breakthrough for HIV treatment. Individuals can now spend $6,000 to find IVF treatments that are going to tell them roughly their baby's IQ, hair color, and even likelihood of developing certain diseases. New study highlights that taurine may not be actually a pivotal ingredient when it comes to longevity, a common ingredient that's usually found in energy drinks. They essentially found that individuals were more likely to not have changes in their taurine levels over time compared to previous studies. This is all the major medical news for the week. If you want part one, you can check the older video. If you want to help support my work, you can also find links for that in the bio. Or if you just want to see all the information that we talked about, you can find it in the sub stack. I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's information.